Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be going over how I keep my makeup on for at least 12 hours. Now I'm saying at least 12 hours because I am a nurse. Nurses typically do 8 to 12 hour shifts. Um, I do 12 hours at least three times a week and that 12 hours of wearing makeup is actually um, about 15 to 17 hours from the time I put it on to the time I take it off. So yeah, that's the story behind the 12 hours. In this video, I'm just going to demonstrate exactly how I keep my makeup on for about 12 hours. Um, these products that I'm going to show you are my tried and true. These products have been tested for like a couple months now and all of these products have just been working for me. Um, I'm going to show you the secret um, that I use to keep my skin looking the way that it is uh, by the end of my shift. Now if I have about 20 extra minutes, I will put on, you know, more eyeliner or more eyeshadow. Now the focus of this video is skin. I do want my foundation to be about, you know, 90% still there. So the products that I'm going to show you are, again, um, long wearing and just, you know, my tried and true and I'm excited to share with you guys. A couple of my coworkers have been asking me what foundation do I use and how do I look the same in the morning? Because I do do work at night. So anyway, blah, blah, blah. So now I'm going to show you. <laughs> If you guys like this video, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, like this video, share it, comment down below, let me know what you guys want to see next, and I would be so happy to do that video for you. And so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. So first I go in with this Bare Minerals Prime Time Neutralizing Primer. Priming is essential for me because my skin is oily, um, normal to oily. So if I don't use a primer, my foundation will be gone within five hours. I really like this primer because it I feel like it not only neutralizes the redness that I have in my skin, but it also acts like glue to anything that I put on top top of it. So you can see that I just use my fingers and just smooth this stuff all over my skin. It does not have a silicone feel. This is a secret ingredient to my skin concoction, I guess. <laughs> it is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and basically I just layer this stuff throughout my base routine. So I put it on after my primer. I'm fanning my face just to speed up drying time here. Using this um, setting spray has really helped me keep my foundation on longer. So now I'm going to go in with my foundation. This is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. And I think this is in like warm neutral beige or warm beige or something. Anyway, everything will be linked and listed down below. So all you got to do is open up that description bar. And so here I'm just buffing it in my skin the way I usually would. And I'll speed this up for you guys so you don't have to watch it over again. For the second time, I'm going in with the All Nighter Setting Spray and just going to be layering this throughout my foundation routine and here is my finished face with foundation and just spraying it again. I am layering this stuff because this is what really increases the longevity of my foundation. So letting it air dry again and then I'm going to go in with the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer. This stuff is legit. If you haven't tried it, I suggest you go try it. I have worn it for months and I have not had any breakouts. You can see that it is full coverage. 
it is liquid to like very thick almost. It doesn't crease, it gives you full coverage, and it doesn't fade. You will look the same as when you put it on to when you take it off 15 hours later. I'm just getting into the inner corner of my eyes where darkness can be very prominent on some people. Now I'm patting this stuff out with a Real Techniques sponge dry. If you do it dry, the sponge won't soak up that much product and you get a fuller coverage with it. So fuller coverage means longer wearing and that's the only reason that I'm doing this dry. On a daily, I would probably use that sponge wet. Blah, blah, blah. The next important step is to set your concealer. Here I'm using Lyric, the banana shade from the Kat Von D shade light palette and I'm patting that onto the concealer I just placed. You don't want to drag because then you'll just drag all that concealer sealer off of your face. So use patting motions. That's all. Now I'm taking the Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Bronze in the shade 30M. This stuff is waterproof. Waterproof means it's long wearing. And I'm using it with this Tarte brush that I found a long time ago. But you can see that there are that it's a tapered brush. I found that using a tapered brush with this product lets you pick up more of the product. If you don't, I find um, I find it to be kind of sheer. So here, I'm just using the bronzer like where you would usually bronze your face, just so your face doesn't look so flat. And again, this bronzer does stay on my skin for, you know, 12 hours at least. I feel like my skin still looks bronze by the end of my shift. Next product is Instain by The Balm. This is in the shade Houndstooth. This stuff does legit stain your skin. No, just kidding. <laughs> it's not like a ink pen or anything like that. If you wash it off, it'll come off, but it is a very long wearing blush. I can legit say that this blush stays on your face for 12 hours. Maybe not 15, but for sure 12 hours you will still look pleasantly flushed by the end of your shift. <laughs> so here, I'm, I just took that Luxie brush. I'll list and link everything down below. And yeah, just put it on your cheeks. Be, be very gentle with this blush because it's very pigmented. Now I'm going in with a Becca highlighter, Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill or what ifs. But this highlighter is life. I'm not even kidding. This not only lasts on your skin a very long time because it's so highly pigmented, but it gives you the most beautiful luminous glow. No surprise here, I'm using Anastasia's Dip Brow in Dark Brown. If you want your eyebrows to last through swimming, you will use Dip Brow. Um, I didn't show my eyebrows because it's basically the same, but, but what is new to my routine are these Brow Artist Plumpers by L'Oreal. And I'm doing this step very slowly because if you get this stuff on your skin, it's kind of difficult to take off. And because we put our base on first, I'm just taking this step really slowly. But first I'm, you know, combing the front of my eyebrow up um, to give my eyebrows a little bit more texture. And I'm gonna run this tinted brow gel throughout both eyebrows. And then I'm gonna take the clear brow gel and place this stuff on the hairs without adding extra color or like extra tint to my eyebrows just to place the hairs where I want them to stay. This brow gel is very comparable in my opinion to the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Next you're gonna prime your eyelids. This is gonna help prevent creasing from your eyeshadow. Um, you guys have seen this before or basically you're just priming your eyelids. Um, yeah, so to set the primer, I'm gonna go in with Purely Naked from Makeup Geek and it is a much beloved shade 
for me. <laughs> so I'm going in and I'm just taking this shadow and putting it all over my lid. This doesn't add a whole lot of color for me because it's basically like my skin tone, which is what I want. I just want my eyelids to be free of that like natural like hyperpigmentation that I have on my eyelid. This next step is something that I do to make my eyelashes appear thicker than they actually are. You can see that they are pretty sparse to begin with. I'm not going to be wearing any falsies, but sometimes I do wear falsies to work. But anyway, this gel liner is really great. It's very pigmented, easily to smudge, and it does not smear. And it's the LA Girl Gel Liner in Black. Here I'm just curling my lashes with my Shulamura Eyelash Curler. This Eyelash curler, I believe, is also what helps me keep the curl in my lashes. Of also wearing waterproof mascara. The mascara that I've been loving is this Miss Manga Rock Voluminous Mascara in Waterproof, of course, by L'Oreal. This stuff just really separates my lashes, makes them look longer, and it doesn't smudge, which is amazing. Um, after, I'd say after about like 12 hours of wear, you do see a tiny bit of smudging, but it's nothing that's like, oh my god, I look like a raccoon. So <laughs> yeah, I just, I've been really enjoying this mascara and I love that it's totally affordable. This is an optional step. I'm just adding more of the same Becca highlighter by Jaclyn or from Jaclyn Hill. By Jaclyn Hill. Anyway, because it's amazing, I'm putting it on the inner corners of my eyes. I just want to put this all over my face because I can't stop. <laughs> Next, I'm going in with Girl Actics Matte Lip Paint. I believe this is in the color Demure. Again, everything will be linked and listed down below. Here's a really nice swatch. What? It's a, it's a nice mauve is what I meant. <laughs> this is a really nice mauve that you can wear every day. It's totally appropriate for school, for work, for the office, yada yada. It's just a really nice mauve. These lip paints are very, very comfortable to wear. So next I'm going in and setting my face with what I've been setting my face with um, forever now. It's the Urban Decay Naked Skin Setting Powder. I think this is in the shade medium or medium dark or something, but it doesn't give you a color. What it does is just it just sets your face. And I'm only putting it in my T-zone because that's where I get most oily. And now I'm going to spray my face again with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And that is it. This is a secret to how to keep your makeup on for at least 12 hours. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!